Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Supergirl season number 3 episode number 15 In Search of Lost Time. This episode is directed by Andy Armaganian. And here we have some things happening. This is a very emotional driven episode. Um, things come out. The truth comes out especially between um, Kara and Monel. And you got um, mostly John dealing with his father and his, and his um, Alzheimer's. And, and helping, trying to help him through this, and by also, but and also not trying to make him feel um, worse than how that how he already feels because he because he already feel like he because he already feel like he's he's being a burden to his son already, and his son had done so much to him, and he feels as though he's trying to fix the part of his mind the best way he knows how, but, but by doing this is also causing a lot more problems than he wants to, and then we also have what's going on between Lena, and um and Sam. And Lena is trying to help Sam with her condition because Lena figured out that who Sam is and what uh, 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 by, by her blackouts and the timing of her blackouts, she figured out that she's Rain, and she's trying to help her with this. She, 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 it's the, the best way she knows how. And you have Sam, who's not quite, who doesn't, who's not believing what Lena's going through, and she's resisting it, resisting the treatment, and also resisting her help, and she's lashing out at her. Because she's frust she's frustrated, she doesn't know what's going on with her, and she misses her daughter, and so she's just letting her anger take over, and which also helps her figure uh, see her true self. And you have what's going on between James and Lena, and James is still trying to connect with her and be there for her, but also not knowing exactly what she's going through with, but but also helping her at the same time. So overall, I, I did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, I I like that certain I like that um, the truth finally came out between um um Kara and Manel that even though it was forced upon her with some like some by by um um John's father using his telepathy, but it it stopped her from from romanticizing their relationship. See, <clears throat> Manel was very immature during the relationship. He did a lot of things that were very reckless and, and things that was kind of messed up. And she pretty much kept that bottle up inside. And she just held on to the fact that when he was gone, she just held on to all the good parts of their relationship and all the good times they had and kind of blocked, and not really blocked out, but um, I guess you could say suppressed it. But, and, but because of what happened with the father, all the her real feelings about what actually what happened in the relationship actually finally came out. She just, she didn't, she stopped taking it and actually to let him know how she made her feel. Because... To her, everything is still fresh. To my mind, now, all this is in the past. So a lot of times when you look back in the past, you kind of forget the bad parts and you just kind of remember all the good things. You kind of romanticize how things used to be. And that's what Manuel is doing. So he's, when, he, when he's connecting to her, he's forgetting about all the bad things he did, all the times he was drunk, all the time he kept trying to help her out through all the situations, all the time he he messed up and screwed up. and But... He just remembered the, the good times they had together, and but the but it's her. Even though she's happy to see him back, and she and she was also trying to do the same thing too. Being around him and knowing she can't be with him now, and then and then that she she remembers because everything her relationship is still kind of fresh, and so she remembers all the bad things and all the worst parts of the relationship. But she just try to bury it deep and move forward. But if she wasn't moving forward. She was just staying still. So now, and all this truth, the truth has finally come out. You can see these characters actually grow and actually be, be actually friends now, because they know how each other actually felt, and they know, and she, because Manuel actually knows how she actually feels and all the things she actually went through in the, in the relationship when they, when they when they were together. And now you also have a, a strong relationship between Lena and Sam, which is great. Because now she got somebody who can help her through this. I'm not sure Lena actually can save her from the situation because she's pretty much trying to rewrite her her. I guess she can rewrite her DNA. I don't see how she can fix this, but still, she has, she got somebody who can support her through the situation, which is great. And the truth is finding out. At least somebody knows. And the only part that, that kind of bothers me a little bit about this is that Lena figured out that Sam is Rain, but she can't figure out that Super that Kara, her best friend, is Supergirl. And the guy she's seeing, um, James, is actually the Guardian. That part's kind of weird. And she can figure out one part, great, but she can't figure out the, the other thing, which is right dead in her face. I don't understand that part. That, that part's kind of weird to me. I was like, okay, well, okay. 
But I thought it, it, touching this scene, um, John and uh, and, and how he it, it interacting with his father. I like I like those scenes. That was actually d done quite well. The acting performance between um both David Hayward and um Carl um Lumbly is fantastic and great. And also hearing Carl Lumbly's voice, cause especially since he's voice since he voiced the um the um on the Martian Manhunter in the cartoon, is also it's, 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 it's just fun to watch. It's fun to watch, and especially hearing that voice that coming out of his mouth because. It's also interesting that they use that Kryptonian saying the son become the father and father become the son. Because it also kind of affects how, they, how their um, acting career is at the same time too. Because Carl Lumbly actually was John Jones and now he's playing the father. And so and so now, and then you have um, Derry, um, David Harewood, he's playing my, he's playing um, um, John Jones and he's the son. So it, it's, it kind of works on both ways at the same time too. So I, I actually like, like that, that phrase and that saying. So overall, a great episode. I really enjoyed it a whole lot. Um, most, like I said, emotional driven, very touching, but you also seen characters evolve and grow and change and learn from their mistakes, and now they can see that they, they might move forward, which is, is great and fantastic. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Supergirl. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big old like and thumbs up. Mm. Bam, and subscribe to my channel and share. Also, hit the little bell at the bottom so you can notify every time I make a video. So like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.